the blues man himself. Great to have you here, Rick. How are you, so? Just doing great. Uh, How do you do? <laughs> the blues comes, just comes out of his pores. Um, I guess maybe we should mention to everybody that uh, you've been playing with uh, Dutch for years before this, before your, uh, your own project. How long have you been with Dutchie? Uh, I was with Dutchie for 14 years. He ruined my life. That's too long to do anything. But, and, uh, uh, Dutchie's still playing. He's living up in Toronto. He's playing all the time. Don't play down here all that much. But uh, Prime Minister of the Blues, Dutch Mason. And I just caught you a couple of weeks ago with a, a blues evening at the Roxbury. That was fabulous. We're going to see any more of those? Yeah, I'm not sure when uh, we're booked back in there for something or another, sometime or another. I don't know when it is, but we're, we're, we'll be back there. It was a great, great evening. Just uh, next time anybody sees it in the paper, get out there for that. Uh, five LPs you were on with, Dutchie. Yeah, five LPs. And we just got a, with my own band, I just, got, I just put a tape out this summer as well. And uh, I think that's called Too Cool for Comfort. We got it right here. Shh. Yee. Ha, ha, ha. And uh, I, I... Rick Jeffrey Blues Band, Too Cool for Comfort. Get it. I, I've got it. Hey, yeah. Uh, four or five of my friends are psychiatrists, eh? And I, and I talked with them, and they told me if people don't buy, buy that tape, there's something wrong with their head. Hey, I've got the tape, so that means I must be just fine. I was pretty lucky to find that out. You know, who would have thought? Who would have thought, for sure. And, and you've got three originals of your own on that tape. Just because, now just for that, yes, I do. And Meat Man's on that. Do you like that one? You told me you like that Meat Man. I'm the Meat Man. You like that one. Didn't you? Okay, yeah, I did. He's killing me up here. He's killing me up here. Oh, so uh, we're just going to talk a bit more about you. We heard about that one, about the psychiatrist and all that. He went out and bought a case. A case? And now he feels all right. He's coming out of himself. See, it's, it's like... A medication. He's getting in touch with his inner child. <laughs> I don't know if that would take a whole case, would it, Ainsley? No, no. Anyhow, uh, we'd also like to mention you've been uh, playing harp, but that comes right from your family. Uh, yeah, my, my, all my family, they all played harmonica, yeah, like that. But they just, they played like that, that kind of stuff like that. Like, I don't really, I don't really, uh, I never really understood it all no, that much, no. you know. But they did, they definitely did it. I'm kind of try, trying to forget it. <laughs> There's something well, I'm trying to get over. God, I'm sorry. You know, he's talking about, you know, medication with his tapes. Anyhow, it is a great tape. Please go out and buy it. Too cool for comfort. Uh, the white hair. The, the two-colored thing on the album. I'd, I'd like to talk about that. I'm trying. That's another thing I'm trying to forget. It seemed like a good idea at the time, white hair. But uh, it was okay in the bar. But, geez, I got to go buy groceries. I get my groceries over here. You know, people... It's no good. Don't do it. No. Okay. Don't, don't dye your hair white. Obviously All not. Kids are going, Look, I'm Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Stuff like that, you know. Just thinking. So, uh, you, uh. My mother's going, that's got to go. I said, Mom, I'm 44 years old. Yeah, Jesus. But the hair looks great now. I used to always think that he sort of looked like that Clint Eastwood of the blues. What do you think, ladies? I think so, yeah, for sure. Um, I was going to mention. You must be Annie Oakley. <laughs> Oh, where's my gun? Where's my gun? Sue Clark, I like that band. That's a real good band. I never heard you sing country like that before. I remember you years ago singing rock and all that kind of stuff, but it really turned me on. Oh, thank you very much. All right, Rick, we're going to let you uh, maybe intro your first song. Tell everybody what's coming up, what it's about. What it's about? I don't. It's not about much of anything, you know. But uh, it's just a blues tone that, uh, that uh, you know, it's just it's not about anything, really. I just said to myself... I should try to get a tune that's not about anything. I think you're the guy to write that, Rick. Yeah. I think he's the man to do it. Let's hear it for Rick Jeffries. All right. I'm 
Hey, the man, the man. I want to take a real quick minute here to introduce you to the band. We got Barry Cook right over here on the keyboards. Yes. We got Morrow Scott Brown back there on the bass. Doing all kinds of things. We got AJ, Ainsley Jardine right here on the drums. And we got Scott, the crusher, McLean over here in the... Scott, what's the, the crush? Stuart, oh my God, Stuart, I'm sorry. Stuart, the crusher, I got so wrapped up in the crusher thing. Yeah, what's that all about? I have to ask Rick about that one. Rick, Rick, Rick. It means, like everything else I do, it it means nothing, obviously. It means absolutely nothing. You've given me so much to, ah, oh. <laughs> he gives me so much to work with here. Anyhow, they're gonna do another tune for you. What's the tune coming up there, Rick? Uh, it's called Sexy. S-E-X-X-X-X-Y, Sexy. Obviously, really good speller anything. as well, not about anything. Nice spelling, though, you know? There's not enough X's, you know, out there. How many X's, Rick, do you have? Something that Ainsley came up with. I can't me. I said, okay, I'll try it. Here, we're gonna let them go. Rick Jeffries and the band.
Rick Jeffrey, everybody. Let's hear it for those toe tapping blues. If Rick says that Dutchie Mason is the Prime Minister of Blues, I think that Rick has at least got to be the Minister of Finance, if not the Deputy Prime Minister. We're going to go to a break. Come on back. We're going to be here. Take it away, Rick. <laughs> 